In this video, I'm going to show you the most amazing architecture and interior design app out there, Archi Room Planner. Now, obviously, I'm a little biased, but my goal here is to show you all the features that we have to offer and help you see the process from the very beginning all the way to setting up projects and visualizing them in AR and having your visualization wow your clients and teammates. There are features that you probably haven't seen before, and that's why I want to show you all of these so that you can best utilize them to help you succeed. So let's jump in here, and I'm going to show you the whole process. So first, you got to head over to Archie app on the App Store, install it, and you are ready to go. Next, create a new project by clicking the blue button right here, and this will give you a bunch of options to help you get started with your project. This is very simple. You can select from our preset room shapes, draw a new shape. Or if you have LiDAR enabled iOS device, you can press the scan button to start a scan of your room, which will automatically create a 3D model of your space. Okay, so for this demo, I am going to start by adding a rectangular room shape from our preset shapes. And the first thing you want to do is change the size of the walls to the dimensions you need. You can do that by tapping on the text fields next to each wall and just modifying the size like this. Or if you want to just move walls manually. You can go ahead and select each wall and just move it to get the size you need. You can also move nodes if you need to change the shape of the room, or if you want to add new walls, you can just select the draw icon over here and start drawing new lines. This tool is great if you have an odd-shaped room and you need that extra bit of customization drawing shapes. Once you are done drawing, just toggle off the draw mode, and you are good to go to the next stage of your design. Over here in the header, we have a bunch of tools that can help you design faster. So, for example, if you need site plan of a building, you can go ahead and select the maps icon, and it will open Apple Map View. You can find the location of your project, and it will add a map view of your site directly into the scene. Then you can use this to draw spaces more accurately. Also, you can use the measure tool to get dimensions between points, which is really great if you need to refer to an actual site plan or building to design new spaces. Once you're done setting up your room size, you can go ahead and start adding furniture models into your room. Head over to the blue plus icon over here to start selecting furniture pieces. And what's really cool here is that you can choose from over 1,000 3D furniture models to add into your space. Let's say you want to design a living room. You can come over here and press the interior category, select living room, and it will open up all the furniture objects you would find in a typical living room. Or you can go ahead and search for the item you want and simply select the object you want to add. I like to actually scroll through the list manually to see which items look best for my room. Select the styles I prefer and then add them individually into my room. These are all great ways to find a bunch of models which work for your design. Over here, the 3D icon automatically converts your scene to 3D, and once you do this, you can instantly see your project in three dimensions. I usually refine my design in 3D as it lets you have a better perspective of the room, but sometimes you may need to switch between 2D and 3D depending on what you are trying to design. You can check out any perspective by rotating the camera view with your finger and zoom into details with pinch gesture. What's really cool here is that if you want to have a walkthrough of your interior, you can use the joystick on the bottom left to navigate around your new design. In 3D, you can continue to add furniture or custom models into the scene. Simply drag them in position like this. A quick trick here: if you want to add windows and doors on a specific wall, select the wall first, and then go to the construction tab and select the window or door you want. This will make sure the window is added on the correct wall. But you can also easily move windows and doors by dragging them across the room like this. When you select a model, you will see the transform menu in the left, and you can use the tools here to apply a bunch of transformations, such as rotate. Duplicate and even edit to change the dimensions of the actual 3D models. These are the most important tools you need to create fast layouts with just a few clicks. If you are looking for more information about each product, up here in the heading, select the info button to get a link to the models in our catalog. All models are taken from real-world products, so you can see exact dimensions, product specifications, and even where to buy these, which makes fitting your next project even easier. This is really great because now you have a room set up with a few clicks, and all you need to do is change the materials and colors, and you are good to go. You can come in here and select the surfaces or objects that you want to modify, and then select the material icon, which opens up an incredible selection of textures. Once you do this, you can instantly have a stylized interior with customized colors and textures. If you are someone who wants to import their own 3D models, such as 3D buildings or furniture pieces, you can do so by pressing the import button. 
And this will allow you to import your FBX or GLB file from your own cloud storage, such as Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive. All you have to do is copy and paste the URL of the model and press the Import button, and you will see your project imported into the scene. This is really great, because if you have a building already designed, you don't have to draw it out again within the app. You can just import a bunch of models and use the app for awesome visualizations. We have a series of tutorials in the app, which will help you batch import multiple files, and that way, you don't need to manually import them individually. If you have hundreds of models, it can take forever downloading them all one by one. So this way, you can just import one file, and the app will automatically convert your files into a list of models, which you can drag and drop into the scene. Check out the links in the description for more information on batch importing. The next step after that is to set up some lighting. The light feature is a quick way to set up shadows on your projects in real time. In this demo, you can see that the light slider helps you create animated shadows around your models. This is great if you want to test out some light options in your design. If you want to add notes to the project, maybe you want your clients to see some specifications about the products, you can add annotates to each model. Just select the annotate button here, double tap on the part of the project you want to annotate, and then simply fill in the information you want to add. This is a really cool way to mark up or collaborate on projects with multiple people. If you are an AR enthusiast, you should know we have some of the most advanced augmented reality features in Arky. For start, check out the AR icon up here to overlay your 3D scene in the real world. Just scan your space slowly, and the app will simply overlay the 3D models in your scene directly into the real world. You can do this with any models, especially custom ones that you have imported into the scene, and you can easily set the size of the models to full scale by selecting the transform icon in the header and then toggle between full or normal scale, or adjust the slider to the scale you want. This is seriously cool, as now you can overlay any space with real-world objects and start to experience the designs in the real world. The transform buttons are a really great way for you to position models in AR accurately, especially if you are working with large-scale models such as buildings. You can use the axis sliders to move or rotate models in position, and we even have an add pivot button that can be used if you need to adjust the pivot of the model for better control. Just select Add Pivot and tap on the part of the model that you need to set as the new pivot point. Now you can easily move and rotate models from this specific pivot point. One of the coolest augmented reality features in Arky is the ability to save projects in position using world anchors. Honestly, this feature is groundbreaking for all sorts of AR visualizations. For example, if you want to overlay digital models on top of physical ones, you can use world anchors to save positional data about the physical model and overlay digital models on top. In AR, simply place your 3D model in position and then select anchors, then world anchor. In this example, I am using the physical site model of a railway station as my world anchor. And to anchor my 3D model of the footbridge in place, I am doing a 360 scan of the physical object. This allows the app to store as many feature points about the object as possible, so that when you load the project from any perspective, it will know how to load it accurately. So the next time you load the project and you want to see your model in position, press World Anchor again, and it will show you an image of the stored anchor, ask you to do a scan of the space, which usually takes a few seconds before your 3D model is loaded in position. It's that simple, and it feels like magic. If you want to anchor your projects to images, we also have image anchors. So every time the app sees the defined image, it will anchor the model to that image. You can do this with all sorts of images, from floor plans to QR codes, and that means you can simply augment any images with your 3D projects. Currently, image anchors are created inside your 3D software package using a simple textured plane to define as an anchor. And we have a series of tutorials which walk through how you can create accurate image anchors inside your 3D software. So check out the Learn tab for more information. So you have a project set up. You have the materials and textures looking great. And the next step is to share the project with others in your team. Now, how you share a project is simple. Just save your project by pressing the Save button. Then navigate back to the Projects tab of the app. Next to the project, you will see a drop-down menu, which lets you sync or share the project. Sync to Cloud lets you access your projects on other devices, and the Share feature lets you easily share projects using either a QR code or a Share link. In this demo, we are sharing the project with a QR code, which you can easily send to others to scan and download the entire file. Once the project is shared, it can be accessed by anyone, even if they do not have a subscription. 
essentially they will be opening the project in viewer mode and will be able to access the features which you have enabled in the project. Down here in the Learn tab, we have all sorts of tutorials to help you succeed. Our amazing community of designers are actually the ones who dictate future features. So reach out and tell us what you would like to see in our future releases. You can send us a message simply just by clicking this in the Settings tab. And lastly, you can join us on social media and check out our videos and tutorials. There's lots of help there. Thanks for watching this demo. If you want to create incredible designs and fast visualizations, go to the link in the description right now.